Welcome, DTM Week in Review with JB, Justin, and Corey. Uh, crazy drop in Bitcoin, but holy crap, are we making profits at DTM. So uh, I do have a couple sh charts. Oh, I can't share my screen, Justin. A couple charts that I'm going to share. My bad, <laughs> Zoom does it to us every time. It's kind of the inside <laughs> joke with the analysts. Um, so Darrow was one that popped off. Beauty call, beauty layup, and uh, some really nice gains. So uh, this is also why we talk about stop loss strategy because sometimes even you know riding it TP five is huge. You know some of these do go higher, so you can. T you're there watching the computer, you can sometimes catch some of these. But uh, if not, top out. TP5 was uh, beautiful on that. We did just post, uh, after this massive drop with Bitcoin, I did drop this chart and a few others. Uh, I'll, I'm going to read out the TPs just to keep you know uh, things a little bit faster, but it's a lot to go through. Um, so this just beautiful setup, beautiful layup. We talked about Maker and a couple other trades on our live call. And then, uh, yeah, took positions, told everyone we took positions. And I mean, we can't give financial advice, but if you want to replicate my strategy, you can go for it. I little, you know, drop little hints and tidbits here and there. But beauty, 16% um, or so. So yeah. Um, between this and the other trade, DYDX, um, me personally, I was able to put up over 30% profit on the recovery bounce. Uh, we took profits, got out uh, ahead of time too. So it was absolutely beautiful. But uh, Justin, anything you want to drop on there before I dive into some of these other TPs? It's just been an exciting last couple of days. Um, talked with a lot of people in the community, a lot of, a lot of, other crypto traders and whatnot and you can really see the difference of you know people who do day trade or get get the education that we use in day trading that are all they're they're all excited you know they're they're longer term positions uh longer term trades they were moving their stop loss up just like we talk all the time they got stopped out they were heavy in cash got to pick up some really good discounts yesterday and nothing but smiles this morning yeah. And then the charts that the trades from this morning, like they, they all just, they all took off. They all hit some TP. So I was, I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. The difference in just being excited to see these drops compared to absolutely dreading them. So uh, getting right into it, TP1, TP2, TP3 for DYDX. So up to 12.2% profit in three days, four hours. Um, we did have cake was another one that I, I deleted that chart like a moron by accident. I got to get used to keeping those until Thursday. I'm always doing my housekeeping, cleaning and things up. Uh, but TP, uh, we farmed cake last week, TP1, TP2, back to entry, TP3. Uh, and then it hit TP4 on uh, the drop even. So um, then we went on to hit TP4 for DYDX, you know, 16.5%, TP6 for GMEE, 25.8%, Darrow, TP5, we covered Darrow already, TP7 for GME, 32%, um, some dates, uh, lots of charts posted, TP1, TP2 for MLN up to 14.6%, three days, TP2 for LTO, 21.6%, I farmed that guy twice. Uh, for that TP2, loved it. And, uh, or no, twice on TP1 and then once for TP2. I do apologize. Um, but yeah, we covered some of the strategy that I'm talking about farming these coins. Uh, we do training available, recording in the back office, but do also make sure to jump on our Friday live calls. So we are not done yet. TP3, TP4 for cake, 14 to 19% um, after we discussed it there. And then reposted charts, getting TP1 for DP, DYDX. That was the other one that I was farming yesterday. Uh, twice, 9.11% in eight hours. Uh, TP1, TP2 for Maker, 6.53 to 11.57%. We covered that one. TP2 for DYDX, 16.3% in 12 hours. 
And uh, TP3 for Maker, 16.42%, 24 hours, 16%. So beautiful day, uh, great month worth of profits in a single 24 hour time period. And then Quant hit uh, just under 6% in two of posting as well. So TP2 shortly after six hours, 14%. So uh, even if you miss one or two of those, there's just so much opportunity uh, everywhere. So, you know, I've been just hanging out at the charts and compounding gains, obviously, but uh, the beauty of Trade Masters is we can set up those trade you know, trades ahead of time using uh, the KuCoin strategy, uh, the stop loss strategy on KuCoin that we outli uh, outline in our uh, training videos, as well as OCO orders on Binance, make it super easy. You set your TP levels, you set your stop loss level, ride the stop loss up. If it spikes, it takes out those TP levels, you're out in cash. If not, you can continue walking that trade setup. Uh, we had UTK that was just super slow, but it was on an angle like this. Never quit. TP1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over a 13 day period, 50% gain, I do believe. So I'd have to go back and look at it. But this is just, yeah, we got to take our profits, though. That's the big thing. So uh, adjusting strategy from the traditional set just the stop loss and then ride it up. It's just not working because we get a quick wick up and then a quick wick back down, making lower lows with Bitcoin really screwed that strategy up. So that's where take profits. We've been discussing TP1, TP2 for two now uh, because we see that spike TP1, TP2, and then it retraces back to oftentimes entry all the way back down. So people that adjust their stop loss to entry don't take profit TP1, TP2, end up getting stopped out, which free trade, no big deal, but it's frustrating, you know, especially when that TP2 is 21%, 22%, right? So um definitely looking at uh, i'm doing up to 75 percent out by two, tp2 depending on the trade setup i like to take 10 15 uh 20 percent on that first swing and then we can get back in ride that tp3 tp4 you know up 30 percent kind of thing typically uh 20 to 30 percent setup uh, if you're familiar with our trade setups tp5 is typically 25 percent for the mid caps or 55 percent for the smaller caps sometimes up to TP7 for 110% for the micro caps. So this is where we've got a good range. Uh, always got trades popping off, waiting for more pullbacks right now and posting more charts again. So that uh, keeps things fresh, keep things rolling. That way you're not for a trade setup. It's literally, okay, I took profits on one or two of these trades. Now what's next, right? So keep it rolling, keep the excitement high. And you know it might take three, four days for the markets to calm down again. Uh, we'll see if we can break through the EMA that uh, is going to prove to be some major resistance for Bitcoin, but uh, we could see those lows again. So we're seeing some coins do 60 some percent today alone, right? FTT major rebound after falling 90 plus percent uh, over the last couple of days. And, uh, you know, opportunity, you know, you can make an entire month's worth of profits in a day, two days, three days, right? Even during the bear market, right? So or you know, if this is even a bear market, depending on your classification and timelines, of course, right? Time frames. Are... But um, anything on your side, Justin? I feel like I've just kind of motor mouthed right through this thing. So that was a beauty ramble you had right there. No, there's lots to talk about. So yeah, the, this drop was. I mean, those that were excited, good for you. Those that were dreading this, really, really pay attention and and, and focus on that education because it's nothing but opportunity. And if it's if you don't have all the time in the world like Corey and I to be able to play these swings, I mean, setting setting those trades up and forgetting it and going to live your life is just just as powerful. You you definitely get more the more energy you put into it, the more time you're you're putting into managing those trades. But phenomenal week, even after like even during that drop, there was a couple little relief rallies here and. And and this could be just one big relief rally. We could have another down leg, but that's again power DTM. You, we can take advantage of these these small pulls and 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 make that money for the month, the week, whatever you need. Go get your groceries, and then you can take some of that money, start adding to your longer term positions. I mean, there's just there's so many different strategies yeah. that you can use. I'm especially now longer term positions. Oh. Uh, it, beauty, beauty morning to wake up to.
Yeah. Well, it's, I'm getting, you know, hundred bucks, hundred bucks, hundred bucks here or there. And, you know, uh, some of these smaller projects we're looking at in the DeFi space and that can be pretty exciting. So, you know, planting those seeds and that harvest, uh, is some of my favorites. So, uh, much more later on, if you're not familiar, we are sharing the DeFi pick of the week, typically, uh, Friday. Sometimes we get a little crazy busy, but, uh, consistently on Fridays, We've got the live calls, the AMAs, the AUAs, Ask Us Anything, and uh, evolving. So we've got a special guest speaker this week. Make sure to hop on. Uh, some really cool stuff. One of my favorite trading strategies and uh, works really well with what we do here at DTM too. So uh, as we get through this rough patch into the bull run, that's where you know your long positions are going to be really popping off. We've seen coins do 1,000% in three months time and time again so it's not you know unheard of for a 10x some of these deep coins 100x right so less cash but big reward and there's a good blend of strategy depending on where the market's going to go you know we're feeling things out so we want to be, want to be prepared for every single uh potential outcome right uh, selections we've got you know flu season coming up and all sorts of other stuff that can really throw a kink into the thing into the works and uh yeah being diversified with your strategy with your portfolio and your approach really comes in handy so now's the time to learn make sure to hop on get the free training free trade setups and buy 100 btaf tokens so uh that is not a company thing that is something nico and i and the dtm team decided upon ourselves that we're just like hey Let's get some, you know, BTAF tokens out there. You can use them for purchasing products or hang on to them, whatever you want to do. They are yours and uh, could be an interesting, you know, I got an airdrop of Solana at $6. I sold that airdrop for a hundred years a few months later. So you, you never know where it's, what's going to happen with these tokens. Of course, I can't uh, give forecasts on our token, but uh yeah, lots more to come. So any closing words, Justin? No, um, hit that AUA. There's there's so much free information and content, and that's that's really the key to, to continuing this, this education process within the crypto space and developing your skills. The more free content and free information and trainings and airdrops and like just surround yourself with that and things will start clicking and you'll be crazy impressed with how quickly your results start to start to accelerate so Absolutely. very important we call it the earn while you learn system right so get those results keep you engaged want to come back for more and uh, we can achieve far more together than we can apart right so it's about all of us winning that's what btaf the family is all about so uh, say, see you same time, same place next week. If we do not catch you for the Friday live call, uh, we do only share snippets of that one. So uh, make sure to catch the full live call if you want to really capture all that value. So that's it for this week. Uh, see you next week. More profits to come, more excitement to come, upside, downside. We'll see what happens with Bitcoin, but there's opportunity regardless. So stay, hang in there, stay positive, and uh, we'll see you next week. Great save.